Hey everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here, and we are now officially in the 6222 Draft League. I didn't put in too many twos on there, did I? All right, thanks for all the comments over the last few videos. I really appreciate it. Hope you're digging Travis and Jamie as well. Um, please subscribe to the channel if you like the content, and like the videos as well. Come check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Inez27. All right, so I haven't played with Cultivator's Caravan yet. I like this card, though. Comes in. It's a mana rock. Fixes for any color. And it's a good place to start out a draft. It doesn't commit you to anything. And it feels like a pretty highly playable card. Crew 3 is a bit high for just a 5-5. But it's still a good price for a card. And the fact that it ramps you as well as fixes you, I think, is pretty good. There's also Nature's Way. I've been... I think I'm just going to take the colorless card, by the way. Um, but... I think Nature's Way is very good removal. Um, I've been... I, I don't like the name of this card. That card's been confusing me solely because of the name. It doesn't look like what it does, but I'll figure that out eventually. All right, I think we're going to have to actually take a colored card here. So we can take Aviator, which I know is good. I like the Genius. Sabotage, we got a Board Wipe. Um, and it's Instant Speed. Maybe this card is just the pick. I haven't played with this. I've played against it, and I've been pretty impressed. It can kill a lot of things. Might just be worth it. Our caravan survives. Actually, it works well alongside vehicles, doesn't it? Um, hmm. It seems like there's a lot of upside to this card. I want to try it out. Otherwise, yeah, it's probably Aviator, which I like a lot. I, I really do dig this card. But maybe we just take the board wipe, try her out. Give her a go. See what we think. A couple other good cards in here. I like Hunt the Weak. I like the Operative. I like the Genius, too. But we'll, we'll try this Sabotage out. I want to see if this uh, is as good as I think it might be. Well... This card pairs kind of well with the Skygate, since the Skygate blocks the world and doesn't die, but it seems way too early to take that. Although this pack is not super exciting. Could also, could actually take the uh, Appetite for the Unnatural. Um, we can stay... Ag Speedway Fanatic seems like a fine card, actually. Works well with our Caravan. Um, two mana, two one haste is not bad. Uh, this card's probably pretty good. I haven't really been exposed to it all that much. Uh, but yeah, like Appetite for the Unnatural is certainly a main deckable card. Hmm. People are swearing by the Inventor's Goggles. I think they're pretty good. I probably underrated them a little bit more than I should have. Let's take the Fanatic. Just stay on color with our, our Sabotage for now. I think this card's probably fine, like I said. There was nothing insane in that pack anyway. Okay, so I can take Thieving Grubs, which is fine. I can take Seed Sculptor, which I like a lot. Um, none of these cards are insane. Seed Sculptor is probably slightly better than Thriving Grubs, but Thriving Grubs is on color, so I think I'm just going to take it. I don't think Seed Sculptor is, like, broken good, but it, there are some good synergies with this card. And Grubs is fine, though. Okay, so I think we're actually going to take another color now. So let's figure it out. We can take Artisan, which is good. Possibly just better than Exhibition. Because it's got Reach. Um, Red-White versus Green-Red. They're both probably fine archetypes. Dubious Challenge, not all that good. Yeah. Hmm, I don't really want to take the Terror here. I think we'll just take the Artisan. It's actually kind of good with our Sabotage. I guess only if we make it a 1-4, but... Hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to take the Artisan here. Okay. Alright, what do we got? We got uh, a Core Prowler, which is a big fat fatty. We have Creeping Mold, which is, you know, certainly playable in this format. 
you could probably main deck it, but you wouldn't be thrilled about it. It's probably a much better sideboard card. It deals with a lot of things. Um, I mean, you can always hit a land, but that's not super valuable and limited most of the time. So I could just take the Prowler. It's a big worm. We do have one ramp element for it. Um, yeah, none of this is great, and there's not a red card. Thriving Turtle's fine. I think we'll take the Prowler. It's really not that great, but I don't mind getting a big dinosaur now. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we can take the Gorger. I don't really like this card. I think I'm looking at... I want to try out Spark of Creativity. I think this card's probably pretty good. Maybe not, since it hasn't been played, but it can't be that bad, is it? Let's give it a let's give it a try. We'll see. We'll get. We'll see how bad it is, because I honestly don't know. We only we have uh, one card that adds energy right now, which makes I don't even think the Gorger is that good in general, even in a pretty deep energy deck. Not the biggest fan. Okay. So we can take Gremlin here, which is certainly main deckable. Uh, Cathartic Reunion, which is okay. A late shield guard. This card's good. Definitely. Four mana, three, four. There's a operative, which we might be interested in. The shield guard synergizes well with our sabotage. It really does. I don't really care about missing out on a Gremlin. It's fine, but there's other ways to deal with artifacts that are a little more efficient than playing a 1-1. One -one. Let's take the shield guard. I think there's... I think that card's actually going to be good, like I said, with the sabotage. Okay. So there's a puzzle dot, which some people are pretty unimpressed with. I think it's fine. But we can take the harrier here, too. Maybe we take these late white cards that work really well with our board wipe so we can just make sabotage a one-sided board wipe. That would be ideal. So we can take Herald of the Fair. It's certainly playable. We can get another crack at Puzzle Knot. Um, let's take the Herald, I guess. Maybe it puts something out of range of Sabotage, although that's a lot of mana. We're going to actually need artifacts to be able to play Sabotage, too. Keep that in mind. Um, let's take the Herald for now. I uh, don't really care about any of these. Hmm. I guess we can take the dromedary because it also survives sabotage, I guess. There's a larger than life, there's a torch gauntlet, inspired charge. Maybe the charge here. I like inspired charge. Alright. Terror. This is kind of an odd start to the draft. Not not terrible. Not terrible, but we do sort of want to get this all squared away and figured out. I like Cultivator's Caravan less if we're playing red-white. But maybe it'll allow us to... Uh, you can splash for some interesting things. Like, uh, yeah, you can splash for a lot of things. Maybe we could even pick up a Prophetic Prism. Combo with our Incendiary Sabotage. All right. Wow. Wow. Like Whirler Virtuoso, we can splash for that off of Caravan and probably probably be pretty happy about it. Animation Module is a good card. It works well with like Thriving Grub. And it's with the Durable Handicraft, it's, it's insane. You can just go off and make servos all day for two mana, which is really good. It doesn't commit me to a second color. There's probably a decent chance that we can pick it up out of the next couple packs. I'd go back to green for it. Um, Chief of the Foundry is also very good. Currently not that good in our deck, though. Still early. I don't mind taking the Whirler Virtuoso here. Just spits dudes out. Like I said, you can splash it. It's not a big deal. We don't have a ton of plus one, plus one counter stuff. Let's let's go for the splash. I want to see how easy it is to splash in this format. I'm, I'm curious. All right, Welding Spark seems really good. Deck needs some removal. 
There's an aviary mechanic, which is actually a very good card. You can bounce any permanent, too, which is pretty insane, actually. It synergizes well with all the puzzle knots. But on top of that, it's just a nice way to get out of the, the pacifism-style enchantment effects. But definitely taking Welding Sparks here. So, yeah, I would play Prophetic Prism to make this Whirler Virtuoso work alongside the Caravan. Seems like something we work towards. Another Welding Sparks, I think we're just going to slam that. Um, here's our prophetic prism, but I value the removal more. If we get another opportunity to play the prism, I definitely am considering this Whirler Virtuoso. I'd love to try it out. I've heard good things. Oh, wow. Voltaic Brawler. I think this card's really good. This card is really good. Two mana, three, two. Attacks is a four, three. It's really strong. Uh, jump back into green for it. So green, red, splash blue. Ditch the white. Or I can just take the prism now and be well fixed for our Virtuoso. And maybe even other splashes too, possibly. Because both of these cards can add any mana, which is pretty cool. Um, I did want to try this Brawler out. We only have couple green cards we have a few playable white cards i guess we only have a couple more but i do like how these cards work with the sabotage i think that's pretty slick let's take the prism let's open ourselves up for some premium splashes see how that works um impeccable timing it's probably fine it's removal it's cheap Take it over like an Ibex or a Gremlin. Both of which are probably fine too. Actually, Ibex is good in this deck too with the Sabotage. I sh really should be valuing these four toughness creatures quite highly, I think. Um, just because I really think the Sabotage can do some work. I actually don't mind Ibex either. I think it's a fine card in general. It's certainly better than this. And if we're off green, maybe we do need some creatures. Timing is, is not insane. It is removal though. But especially if we're not in green, hmm. Yeah, we're pretty creature light. I think I'm going to take the eye back. So let's, let's get our playable four toughness creatures. All right, self-assembler. I've been meaning to try this out. Could take the, the grubs, though. Get some more two drops. If I take the assembler, having one is not so good. It's probably fine to have one, but not so good. If I take the grubs... I mean, they're fairly aggressive. They help the curve get a little bit lower. Hmm. We have a couple ramp effects, though. Maybe that makes the assembler better. All right, let's, let's take assembler. I, I like that it synergizes with our sabotage as well. All right, artisan is clearly good. Start, gentlemen, start your engines. All right, let's take the Ruinous Gremlin here. It's main deckable. You're never super thrilled about it. Okay, we can take the Puzzle Knot. I think this card's playable, not super exciting. All right, take them all. Hmm. Spark number two or Renegade Tactics. Well, they both sort of cantrip, although this one forces you to play it. I don't think our deck needs the tactic. Let's let's take the spark of creativity. I want to believe this card does something. If it doesn't, so be it. Take all the dromedaries. Uh, crew four seems excessive, but built to smash doesn't seem necessary, especially with basically zero artifact creatures. Well, we have a vehicle, I guess. We'll cut the red card. Okay. So, going into pack three, we're not looking terrible. We have the fixing to make this Virtuoso work. What kind of combos are we looking for? We're looking for more evasion. We do have the Inspired Charge for the win, which is a good way to win, but we don't have much in terms of evasion at all. We have Virtuoso, which can make uh, some flyers. We have Harrier. Uh, another Incendiary Sabotage? Jeez. I mean, I can. 
Take all the board wipes. See how good it is. You can take an artist. It has haste. We could take a second prism. Probably not necessary. Why don't we just take the sabotagers? Try them out in our four toughness dot deck. Actually, how many four toughness creatures do we actually have? I guess we've got uh, Catavan, Ibex, Shield Guard, Harrier, Self Assembler. We have these Dromedaries, though. Like, we could actually consider playing them. If I. Yeah, we actually could. Take the Sabotage, maybe wheel the Ibex. All right, let's really gear up towards a Sabotage deck. See if this works out. Gear Shift Ace. This card's good. Just a two mana, two one first strike with pilot ability. Um, mechanic. Works well, like, like I said, resetting some stuff. Um, another crack at Prism. Propeller Pioneer is definitely good. A Flyer. Unfortunately, it does die to our stuff, but so does Gear Shift Ace. Maybe we just want cheaper stuff, though. 2-1 First Strike's nothing to scoff at either. I like 2-mana, two 2-power two First Strike. That should buy some time. I do want some more Evasion, though, too, at the same time. Because we don't have a ton of ways to win yet. Our win cons are a, a bit light. Like, we can get big value turns, but I am looking for some more flyers. Huh. I think I'm still going to take the ace just because two mana, two power first strike is good. Okay, so we can take the Ibex number two here. And be happy enough with that. Works well in our deck. Well, p is not great, but it does survive things. Probably just want this revoke privileges, right? Get some more removal. Um, so we've got a puzzle knot. It's okay. It kind of works well with our sabotages. Especially since we're pretty artifact light. There's also Fragmentize, which is totally main deckable. Deals with a lot of things. Uh, hmm. So Puzzle Knot versus Fragmentize. I'd much rather run the Fragmentize than like the Gremlins, but the Gremlins are not that good in this deck either. In general. Maybe I just take the puzzle knot. Because I want some more artifacts. We are we're a little bit artifact light. So I could take Whirler Maker. You know, this is actually a win con for a deck like ours. That can like board wipe and then win through value. Otherwise we could take the goggle. Goggle is good because it gets our dudes out of sabotage range. Which is actually really nice. It's also an infiltrator. Um... I, I like the idea of Whirler Maker. It's a good long game strategy. I've lost against it a couple times now and been fairly impressed. Um, hmm. Maybe we just take the goggles, work towards an incendiary sabotage, one sided white plan. Ooh, well, we get a Whirler Maker now, or we could take this Furious Reprisal. Or another Inventor's Goggles. Hmm. Should we try out Whirler Maker? I like Reprisal a lot. I like that it kills multiple things. But I feel like our removal is probably okay now. Could use some more creatures or late game at least. Let's try out Whirler Maker. I, I don't think it's a bad card. Fateful Showdown. Hmm. Probably not that good. None of this is really good, though. Let's just take it. It's a rare. Consider it. Probably not play it. Uh, assistant. Which our deck doesn't really need, but... So we only got one self-assembler? Alright. Alright, well, Mechanic is actually a nice pickup this late. 
Take the Renegade Tactics over a third Gremlin. Take down maybe Splash on sideboard. It seems really bad. We already have 5-2 that we're not going to play. All right. So I think we've got a game plan. And we're probably not going to try the Spark of Creativities or this Built to Smash. So I've already got an idea of some cards I want to cut. Um, we don't have a ton of things that generate energy for our Whirler Virtuoso, but we do have a Grub and two Ibexes and a Consul's Shield Guard. So we have some, and the Mechanic can like get us some more as well. I mean, we don't have to splash for Virtuoso, but I did want to try this card out. It seems like splashing is not that difficult when you have a Prism and a Caravan. Hmm. And Prism's good uh, incendiary sabotage fodder, I think. I probably don't even have to run an island if I've just got a Prism and a Caravan. That's probably all I need. So let's get rid of this. I don't really want to cut creatures because I've only got 14, but we can be more of like a control deck. I guess Whirler Maker's sort of a creature, but it's a little bit of a long game one. I guess Puzzle Knot's kind of a creature too. So really we could probably cut one Gremlin. Just main deck one, which is fine. Let's cut these Sparks of Creativity. We're basically we're going to see if Sabotage is good or not that good. And the Goggles. We have we have a lot of card that synergizes well with it. Right? Because we've got all of these four toughness creatures. How many did we end up with? I guess we only got five. I could run the dromedary main deck just because it is very good with our sabotages it might just be a better idea in general like over i don't know maybe over like one of these puzzle knots just bring a dromedary in early blocks it's kind of a weird strategy for red white which is typically aggressive but i feel like our we we can definitely win through value with this deck Maybe we're not necessarily an inspired charge deck because we're creature light. It works well with like token makers, but we don't even have a ton of those. We'll cut the inspired charge. Um, let's see. If I'm gonna cut, if I cut both Fire Forger's puzzle knot, because I'd rather run Cog Workers with the sabotages, because you can play it and then sacrifice the one one and then make another one one and then sacrifice that. <clears throat> so there's more sacrifice fodder than puzzle knot. Plus our removal is pretty good, and I just need to make one more cut. Um, I I do I'm sort of interested in trying out Whirler Maker. I want to see if it's good, and I still think we probably have enough artifacts. I guess we can find out. What do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight? Eight's enough. It's like bare minimum. Um. Hmm. One more cut. I guess I would prefer it not be any of the spells. And remember, these are creatures too, so I guess we can technically cut one creature. Maybe it is the Ruinous Gremlin. You can main deck Artifact Hate, and it really isn't bad at all. You're going to find a target for it, but I just really don't think the Gremlin is necessary for us. If there's an artifact that we must deal with, then I'll bring it in. But... I'd prefer to maximize the sabotage value in our deck so we can do it as often as possible as a one-sided board wipe. I think goggles are going to help. The dromedary, the ibex, the shield guard, the harrier, the assembler. All of that should really help a lot. Um, 
I could even cut like Speedway Fanatic for another dromedary and really go deep on these 04s. They hold down the ground really well. If we're going if we're gonna go deep, let's go real deep. Let's let's try it. So what are our win cons? Our win cons are Whirler Maker, Harrier, Virtuoso, Caravan. We don't have a ton of win cons, admittedly. But I feel like this we've got Probably the bare minimum. We'll we'll see what kind of success this deck finds, basically. I want to see if Sabotage is, is the real deal board wipe, or if it's not that good, and we'll find out. So we have a couple double reds, right, our board wipes, and we've got to play blue. But like I said, I don't think I'm going to even play an island, because we've got a caravan and a prophetic prism, so it's like we have two blue sources anyway. So we won't run that. We'll probably just do 9-8. All right. I'm okay with that. I don't know how good this deck is. I can't imagine it's fantastic, but we're trying out a splash. We're trying out some thopters, a late game plan, early blockers, incremental value with incendiary sabotage, and we'll see if we can get there. I, I, yeah, I don't know if this deck's good or not. I, my, my, my gut says it's not great, but maybe sabotage will be. I mean, three damage to each creature, instant speed, that's that's really good. You can get blowouts with this card, I imagine, against certain decks. But we'll, we'll have to see how many three toughness decks there are. All right, we'll see round one.